Confirmed death toll from one of the tornadoes to 75 states. The dozens of people are still unaccounted for. Some of the victims were among the more than 100 employees who were working at a candle factory in Mayfield when a massive tornado leveled their building. Thus far, they verified and accounted for 90% of the employees from the NCP candle factory. Right now, the information that the company has given us is correct. That would suggest just eight lost in that factory, which is a miracle. Several of the employees are now suing the company. They accuse management of refusing to allow workers to leave early in the hours before the tornado struck. A company spokesperson previously said all employees were free to leave anytime they wanted. A decision is expected from the Food and Drug Administration today that could lead to easier access to abortion pills. The agency faces a deadline to review rules for the drug, which is currently heavily regulated in the United States. And Pierre Sarah McCammon has more. Mifepristone has been approved to induce abortions in early pregnancy for more than 20 years. But only certain doctors and clinics can dispense the drug. And until recently, patients had to pick it up at a clinic in person. That rule has been temporarily relaxed during the pandemic, allowing prescribers to mail the pills to patients. Reproductive rights groups have been pushing the FDA to do away with the rules permanently, pointing to research indicating the pill is safe when prescribed and used under the proper conditions. Abortion rights opponents are asking the Biden administration to keep the restrictions in place. Sarah McCammon, NPR News. The administration's imposing export restrictions on several Chinese companies. The Commerce Department says they include the Academy of Military Medical Sciences and its 11 research institutes. The U.S. is publicly protesting China's human rights record, including what it sees as the torture and imprisonment of more than a million Uyghurs and others in Xinjiang. China denies it has abused Muslim minority groups. The social network Reddit is planning to go public. NPR's David Gura reports the company has become a popular discussion forum for amateur investors. More than 50 million people use Reddit every day, according to the company, which was founded about 15 years ago. The site hosts message boards on all kinds of topics, including investing. Earlier this year, many Redditors banded together to push up the price of so-called meme stocks, including GameStop. Now, at the end of a banner year for IPOs, Reddit has filed paperwork with the Securities and Exchange Commission to sell its own shares on the stock market. It made the announcement on Twitter. Reddit has been valued at more than $10 billion. David Gura, NPR News, New York. The Dow is up 74 points since the open at 36,003. You're listening to NPR News. A super typhoon is battering the Philippines with torrential rains and 100-mile-per-hour winds across a broad swath of the country's southern and central islands. Roughly 200,000 people in the path of Typhoon Rai have evacuated with no reports yet of casualties of the latest from NPR's Julie McCarthy. The storm rapidly strengthened to the equivalent of a Category 5 hurricane in 24 hours as it approached the Pacific Basin Islands. Typhoon Rai made landfall on the popular surfing island of Shirgao with sustained winds of 160 miles per hour. Rai is a massive weather system extending out 300 miles from its center. Hundreds of villages are at risk of flooding and landslides. Tens of thousands of people took refuge in sports centers and schools in advance of the storm. The Philippines is one of the world's most vulnerable to impacts in global warming. It is typically hit with 20 storms a year. One of this year's powerful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 